What's up, guys? The Phenomenal AJ Styles, and welcome to Smack Talk's YouTube channel. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 16 in this new Did You Know series as we take a look at 5 more things you might not know in WWE 2K19. As always, if there's anything you'd like to suggest to be covered in this series, then please do leave a comment below and you could get a shout out in the next episode. Did you know that Booker T's boots actually say Rooker T? This one comes from Spike Cage 2011HD and SSX Thomas who reveal a pretty odd mistake as should you view Booker T's boots up close in game or in the creation suite then you can see that the text on the side of the boots actually says Rooker T rather than Booker T. Tell me I did not just see that. Did you know that there is a gravestone in the WCW Halloween Havoc arena referencing WCW's original owner? This one isn't so much a new thing as it has been in previous games but with Halloween coming up it's always a fun one to point out as should you play a match in the WCW Halloween Havoc arena then you can see this gravestone on the right hand side of the stage with the wording Crockett which is actually a reference to WCW's founder Jim Crockett who originally set up the company under his own name of Jim Crockett Promotions before it was then bought by Ted Turner and rebranded as WCW. Alongside the Crockett gravestone then you'll also notice various other mark graves with text reading Dead, Elvis and two gravestones with the name Rick which is a reference to Rick Steiner who wrestled two matches on the show as after teaming with Buff Bagwell to defeat the Giant and Scott Steiner for the WCW World Tag Team Championships then Rick went on to wrestle his brother in a singles match where he again came out on top. Did you know that there is special commentary for Triple H in the NXT arena? Previously in the series we covered some special commentary that takes place when using Rey Mysterio in the NXT arena, however Ice Isolator reveals that Rey isn't the only one with special commentary for NXT as should you play it as Triple H in the NXT arena then you can hear the following commentary. You know maybe this is a case of the teacher looking to educate the students. We know Triple H created NXT in his vision but perhaps he's decided to come out here and show our NXT superstars how it's done. It's a case of leading by example. The game is here to teach and raise everybody to the next level. From the bottom of the NXT roster to the top to show them how it's done the right way. Did you know there is special commentary that plays in universe mode for Halloween? This one comes from Alex Jones who reveals the presence of special commentary that plays in universe mode for Halloween as should you play matches at the TLC pay per view at the end of October then you can hear the following commentary take place. I'd like to thank everybody for spending a portion of their Halloween with us here tonight. Next year guys I'm thinking the three of us should come in a theme costume, perhaps the fabulous Freebirds or dare I say the Wyatt family. I will never dress up with you. And Corey, I can tell you these superstars are excited to be able to compete tonight on Halloween. Would you stop, Cole? Do you really think these superstars care about a silly holiday like Halloween? The only thing they care about is winning a match. And of course, quick thank you to everybody watching tonight for spending part of your Halloween with us. And I can see that Saxton got dressed up for the occasion. I didn't realize they made nerd costumes. Did you know it's possible to enter the Timekeepers area? This one comes from AJ Punk 2014 who reveals a really cool and super easy glitch that allows players to enter the Timekeepers area next to the ring bell where they can then continue to fight and throw each other over the barricade. In order to do this you want to choose the Royal Rumble 18 arena then when the match starts simply exit the ring and head over to the Timekeepers area where you'll notice that nobody is there. From here all you need to do is run into the barricade which should see your superstar glitch over it placing you in the timekeepers area where you can then continue to fight and even throw people back over the barricade to ringside. So there you go that was 5 more things you might not know in WWE 2K19, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did I would love it if you could drop a like to show your support as well as leaving a comment below to let me know what you made of today's features and if there's any other secrets, hints or easter eggs that you think I should cover. As always make sure to subscribe to the channel for more did you know episodes and smack that bell notification icon so that you can be notified the second a new video drops. Until next time though all that's left for me to say is I hope you've enjoyed this video, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.